All right, so as part of my long range ballistics gel test series, I recently tested the 100 grain tipped Game King in my six millimeter Creedmoor. Now that is actually the first in my six millimeter, this will be the first bullet, uh, actual bullet designed for hunting uh, that we've tested as part of our long range ballistics gel test series with the six Creedmoor. And we had some actual, some, some rather mixed results with that test. So we put two, we put two shots in the gel uh, at 630 yards and one of the shots expanded beautifully, um, did everything right, dumped all of its energy. Um, and then the other shot did not expand at all. Um, and so what I want to do now, like I said in that last video, my goal with these, with these bullets is to find out what, the, what velocity these things need to impact the target so that we can expect consistent expansion because when they expand it is an absolute picture perfect wound cavity but when they don't expand they're somewhat useless and I think that as part of this ballistics gel test series this long-range ballistics gel test series just like we found uh, with part of our bullet reviews where we find that most of our uh, most of our ballistic coefficients are fairly exaggerated uh, as far as advertised ballistic coefficients I think that we're gonna find that consistent expansion is going to be a much higher velocity than what the advertised velocity is uh, for certain projectiles to expand. Now I can't say that for sure, but it sure seems like it so far. So, like I said, the last test, 630 yards, it's somewhat inconsistent. When it expanded, it expanded great. So we're gonna bring this in, like I said in that last video, I wanted to bring it in somewhere around 500 yards. So we're gonna do this test at 510 yards. Same everything, same bullet, same load, um, same velocities, same muzzle velocity, same everything. So let's go do that test. 510 yards, six millimeter Creedmoor, 100 grain tipped Game King, and then we'll come back here and talk about it. So here it is. All right, that was money. Dumped enough energy to uh, knock the blocks over. Seventeen percent chance of rain today, and that seventeen percent found me. And I noticed that on the way back, it looks as if the wind might have swapped directions. Let's put one more in it. I want a definitive result, but uh, I mean, we got a result with that first one. I want a repetitive result. There we go. I don't care if it's raining or not. Just like that. That was easy enough. <laughs> All right, let's go down and check this out. Oh, by the way, once again, Ammo Buddies. <laughs> awesome little product. Oh, so convenient. I mean, yes, I obviously I use the, uh, I have many many ammo cases ammo cases upon ammo cases I actually have a stack of ammo cases but then we'll talk about why i find this really convenient at some point all right
All right, so this is what I was hoping for. The result that we got from this was exactly what I was hoping to find with this was the distance or point where I could see consistent expansion and full performance and that's what we've got here so this is the best angle where we can look at both of these wound channels together you can see them right next to each other start to expand obviously we're going to take this back to the bench uh, and talk all about it but just quick examination before we do that you can see that uh, both of them expanded almost identically started at the same spot very consistent expansion um, and then both of them made it to about the same point. So through the first block, that first wound channel, which is this one, went in, entered the first, second block, made it to about three inches in, and then it veered out the side, leaving a big piece of the jacket. The second one, doing almost identical performance, about three inches, maybe three and a half inches in, and obviously this was orient the block was orientated slightly different. I dug down to it, but I haven't pulled it out yet. There is our second one. So we will uh, obviously take that home. We will weigh it up. We'll see how much weight retention, but I, I would say super happy with consistent performance from this. Really excited to uh, really examine these further and talk about it. All right, so there, there you have it. As you see, I, 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 could, not, I could not have hoped uh, for a better result. So we brought that in 120 yards uh, in comparison to our 630 yard ballistics gel test uh, with this 100 grain tip game king and with both of these we saw picture perfect expansion but what was even well, I don't know what would be better than picture-perfect expansion, but what is just as good, I think, as picture-perfect expansion is the consistency at which we saw that. So both of these rounds performed almost identically. So um, at 500, um, the muzzle velocity of this, so just like in the last test, same load, same everything, uh, 23, or sorry, 3,220 feet per second at the muzzle. Um, and that's gonna give you, at the muzzle, uh, 30 or 2302 foot pounds of energy so now we're shooting this out to 510 yards so at 510 yards these things the velocity at target is 2336 feet per second or 36.5 feet per second sorry um, and 1212.1 foot pounds of energy on target it was a 2.1 mill trajectory another thing i want to note just like we've been seeing um with those with the flatter trajectories with these long range ballistics gel tests when we're not testing out at the distances that we have a extremely arching trajectory we're not seeing tumbling you saw consistent expansion um, and you saw that it expanded and went straight through with no tumbling so that is another thing as we go through these long range ballistics gel tests uh, that i'm noticing a lot of is with these, just like we talked about, I think in the last long range ballistics gel test, uh, with these flatter trajectories, you don't see that consistent tumbling as you do with the more steep trajectories. With these steep trajectories, it seems like we're getting every time. Um, have, I'm, my goal with this is to try to find out what that point might be. What trajectory uh, do I need to have that I can expect a consistent tumbling effect as well? So, just another caveat something to add uh, that we are looking at when we do these long-range ballistics gel tests so compare that to our 630 yard test so the velocity on on our 510 yard test like I said velocity at target 2336 feet per 36.5 feet per second compare that to when we tested this at 120 yards further 600 and 630 yards uh, you've got 2161 0.3 feet per second. So you're looking at just over 150 feet per second uh, faster at target and you're getting consistent expansion. So that tells me that at that 630 yards, we were right on the line. But that also tells me that it's looking like I probably will not want to, if I'm going to hunt with this particular lobe, this particular bullet, um, I'm going to want to be planning to take game where my bullet is going to be at a velocity above 2300 feet per second so it's just one of the things that we're trying to figure out and i think it was really 
uh, really worked out well to get that consistent result showing us exactly what we wanted here. The so, energy on target there, so, so the energy dump difference between the 510 yard shot compared to the 630. So at 510 yards, you're looking at 1212.1 foot pounds of energy dumped into this block. And you saw it happen both times, consistent expansion, consistent everything. Um, whereas at 630 yards, you're looking at 1037.2 foot pounds of energy. So just over that thousand foot pounds of energy mark, and you see what we get, the big difference we get with consistent expansion. Um, there wasn't, one thing I want to note, there wasn't a whole lot of difference in the actual wound cavities, which is what we're going to talk about next, the actual wound cavity that we see the temporary or the permanent wound cavity and not the temporary wound cavity. So the permanent wound cavity with both of these shots. So one of the things, like I said, could not have been any better, picture perfect, that both of these performed almost identically. So at about one and three quarter inches into the block, both bullets, uh, you can see where they both started to expand at almost the exact same spot. There's only one difference really that I noticed uh, between these two shots. So the second shot, which is the shot that you guys can see now, um, the second shot, I noticed that it shed its tip, the, the plastic green tip here of the 100 grain tip Game King, it shed its tip uh, fairly quickly within the first three inches. Whereas the first shot, uh, the one that's harder to see here in the back, and there is another shot in this gel, something I should note, uh, this is from a previous test. There was plenty of room left on this block, so I went ahead and used it before we remelt it and reform it for our next gel test. So. Um, the second shot though uh, didn't shed its tip till almost the end of the block so somewhere around 14 inches uh, before it shed its tip so just something that i noticed and i'm sure i'm assuming that it actually pushed its tip through rather than just pushing it to the side but just something that i noticed that's the only real difference that i saw so the this wound ca this wound cavity so like i said started at about one and three quarter inches um, and by the time you got to three inches on both wound cavities it was at full expansion. Um, that full expansion was right around 1.9 inches with both uh, with both of them being the second shot, uh, maybe slightly bigger. Actually, it was probably about 1.8 with the first shot and 1.9 uh, with the second shot. So very close, very consistent uh, with the width of the wound cavity. And then both of them traveled till about the 11 and a half inch mark where they obviously started to close back up and then went into the second block, both of them stopping at almost the exact same spot, three and a half inches into the second block for a total of 19 and a half inches consistent uh, travel through both blocks with consistent expansion, consistent results. So with seeing this, um, even though the 630 yard test, uh, we did not see that consistency, I would say seeing this now, uh, the, I feel plenty safe and I actually have a spot which is right behind these woods where I where I hunt uh, regularly which the fields have been planted this year and the deer should be plentiful uh, where I shot a deer at 400 yards with this rifle a couple of years ago and so I plan to uh, probably do that again because that's about the furthest distance and this will be the perfect bullet uh, for hunting with inside that field so um, like I said somewhat of a selfish test I guess but uh, I think it's a very important information. And I think it's also gonna, I think I, what I really like to see is the fact that we're able to show at what point we're actually getting consistent expansion in comparison to what they advertise uh, these bullets or any bullets uh, will expand at. So another long range ballistics gel test in the books. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.